welcome to my channel. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Melanin Nostalgic Runner. And today we're gonna do our Get Fit With Me series yoga edition. And um, we're we're doing a different practice this time around. So we found I found another YouTuber that we're going to review for the first time. It is called Evolve Now Yoga for Athletes. That's a channel um, that I'm going to be um, reviewing. And um, I found something quick and easy, stretches for leg day, 10 minute yoga routine for stretching your legs. So the reason why I decided to do this one is I am proud to say I'm on a four day, four day running streak. I've ran four days in a row since Wednesday, which that seems like those who really, really know me would think, oh my gosh, that's like normal. Why is that big deal? Well, I haven't been running as much as I normally have in the past. So this is actually huge for me. So I'm like, yes, we're getting back on the horse. Things are finally coming back together again with that. So because we have been doing that, guess what? Your legs, my, your girl's legs are sore. Sore, 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 sore. Um, but the good news with that is um, tomorrow I am planning a running rest day. I'm actually still going to do legs at the gym. Um, so this might be a day, this, this routine might be premature, but yeah, we're still going to do it. I'm, I've been wanting to check this guy out for a while because I've had him on my radar. I just haven't gotten to his stuff yet. I saved him. I subscribed to him and I was like, okay. I'll get back to his content and see if I can review one of his routines. I did, you know, peruse around his um, channel. He does have yoga routine for men. So if you're a guy and you're not quite comfortable doing the yoga stuff, he does have a couple of practices that's catered to men. And also too, it's a nice mix in this with this because usually most, you know, most of the yoga instructors I'm reviewing are women. So, um, this time it is a man of the melanin variety. And let's give it a go. Today's practice, we're going to start in an extended child's pose. And then from there, we are then going to make our way to the next position um, to get started with our stretches on our legs. Once we are in the extended child's pose for a couple of breaths, we then also are going to put our hands behind our back and then extend our arms out for a deeper stretch. And then from there, we're gonna make our way back to a tabletop position to immediately go into a pigeon pose, starting on our left side. And then from that pigeon pose, we're going to then do 90 degree ankles on both um, our legs and then bend down for another stretch. I'm not exactly sure what the name of that pose is, but we do that. And then from there, then we are going to then extend our right leg out or the left leg out, the, left, the leg that we've been using for the first um, bit. And then the other leg that we have behind, our, behind us, we're going to then try to um, reach our leg um, that is stretched out. Um, the best to your ability if you're not if you don't have a strap or you're not able to do that um, like I wasn't able to do that then you can just you know take the stretch how you have it there and that's pretty much the sequence for this and then we're going to do the same thing on the other side as well
Once we complete this stretch on both sides, we then are going to then um, go into a cobbler pose or butterfly pose and then hold that for a couple breaths. And then for a deeper stretch with that, um, you can then do a pretzel position. And that's where I had like my arms underneath my um, legs. And then you kind of bend down and extend. And then we're going to do that for a couple breaths. And then last but not least, right after that, the very last pose we do, we're just going to go into a cross-legged seated position. Um, just kind of um, play with our breath, meditate for a little bit, and it, he does recommend for you to continue this on to meditate, but I did decide to end the practice here, and that does conclude the practice. It's very quick and easy. So that does conclude the yoga video for today. How I rate it? Um, I'm going to give it a nine. It was very good. It was very quick, very easy. Um, he has a very soothing voice, and um, I'm definitely going to be doing more of his stuff. Like, and a lot of his videos are like the 10 minute or less, or like. He has a lot of like shorter videos that you could just do your, do a little bit of something and then get up out of there. He also has like 30 minute videos too, but none of them are really that long. Um, I will say recently when it comes to reviewing a lot of these videos, um, because I am active when it comes to other things besides yoga, it's really hard for me to do a yoga video where it is like over 30 minutes. Like <laughs> it's kind of not gonna happen unless I'm like not running or going to the gym or anything. And that like rarely happens. I'm definitely always doing one of those things too. So, and usually both. So anyway, so I did enjoy that because, and also too, his routines are dedicated to those who are athletes. So it's dedicated to those who are doing those other things. So it wasn't, um, too challenging 
And I, you know, I mentioned I picked this routine because I am a little sore and I needed more of a recovery yoga versus um, getting to a yoga. Now, if it was a day where yoga was all I was doing, yeah, we probably would look for something else. But so I would say if you want something where you're doing more um, than just like, you know, recovering, I will still check out his channel because he has that stuff too. But this would not be, this particular video would not be the video for you. This is more of a video for after you have done a your legs are kind of sore or really not even necessarily from exercising you know your legs can be sore from just like walking around stuff if you're in like well i mean if you're in some place like chicago or new york or somewhere where you walk around a lot or if you just have like a job where you walk around a lot this would be kind of a good routine to do like after work or something so um yeah it was nice quick and easy it went through very it went by very quickly um it wasn't too much. My legs do feel a little bit more fresh now. So it did the job. It did the purpose. And um, I there was a part where you had the option because I did not go all the way down. I also did not have a strap on me or something to strap. He did mention if you can't go far down or, you know, for the, uh, the position where I had my leg out and then the other leg kind of bent in towards my butt that's when you would probably want to have a strap if you can't go can't extend all the way down i didn't have a strap so i didn't do that i just with me doing the position for me because my legs are always so tight that honestly was enough where i was getting a stretch so i would say if you're someone whose legs are that kind of tight if that's all you need to get the stretch and just do that but if you want a little bit more which i honestly kind of could have did a little bit more and I kind of wish I had a strap so I could have did that. If you have a strap, I would recommend having a strap and doing that as well. But um, yeah, but that concludes the video. Please like, comment, subscribe to the channel. If you get anything out of the content, it's your girl Sharon, aka The Melon and Nostalgic Runner. And I will see you next time. Bye.